Hey, oh, oh, well, I'm not cool here. And something amazing just happened. So, so basically, people watched my older videos a long time ago, about a year ago, or two years ago. No, yeah, about an year ago. Someone seen a video called about Yu-Gi-Oh! Du Dueling. Yeah, I'll play that. I'm gonna play it a couple times before. Anyways, I just got one of the hardest characters to characters to unlock. To unlock one of these. To unlock this character, have to unlock this character. To unlock this character, you have to cut. You have to unlock this character. To unlock each one. It's kind of hard. So you need certain cards and do certain actions, which are extremely difficult. So I just got you. So I just got Jaden. Jaden Bell. Which is basically season four, Jaden. Or Jaden from season four. Yeah. There's a thing about you needing a certain, a certain billard. Let's look for that. Yeah. What do you want to do? Thank you. Yeah. Oh. This atmosphere is extremely for my senses. Now, let us begin. Are you going for that that shot? Nice. Nice. That's that was a perfect jump shot. That was amazing. Wow. That was amazing. It was like magic. I knew you could do it. You have to pull it off the shot. That's why you're our leader. Looks like your challenge brought everyone together.
so much fun watching the world of the movie across the table. Hopefully everyone had fun. I gotta say though, wow. thanks to playing build, looks like you learned to present yourself a bit more attractively, huh? Yeah. It's so more beautiful. That was so fun! It's a little bit. Hey there, it's already time to interrupt your fun. We are trying to learn technical shots. Let's see. I think you'd be able to pull off a really advanced shot. It's called a messy shot. It allows the ball to make a sharp oops. I suppose there isn't much point to me explaining it now. Let me give you this book. I think it will be quite useful to you. Messy shots, huh? If you're confident in your proficiency, maybe you should give it a try next time. See ya! Oh! Tomorrow? Tomorrow is it. Oh, today, eh? It's kind of snuggly. I'm gonna go. What? Oh, Maruki! I wanted to talk to him yesterday, but he wasn't up. Ah. Oh, hey. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Yeah. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. My role as Shujin's counselor does end today, so technically, it'll be our last opportunity to converse here at the school. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. See you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Morning. As the vice principal has mentioned, Today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. For the past several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. But before I leave here, situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone.
Thank you for coming here. <clears throat> Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I've ordered the deluxe bowls for us. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Well, you've got to be at least a little lavish on occasions like this, right? for how delicious it smells. Ooh, this aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. this before but still this is truly thanks to you had you not shared your experience and insights with me this paper never would have been completed please allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of shujin and as a phantom thief as well what there's no need to be obtuse hold up why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? Be right back. Puppy! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This will take a long time. We'll be back in quite some time. Holy shoot, this is important. What? It says interrupting reality through cognitive science and alteration. Now we have an external influence. You know, the Phantom Thief's act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target. A reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of hearts you induce in your targets. Really know your stuff. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. <laughs> to be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality, like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. I was just thinking about this a couple of days ago, I was like, wait a minute. So it's because she saw us, but who else could have saw us? I was thinking, like, someone could have saw all the times we came out of, of it. And the only time I could think of was at the beginning of the game, for a brief moment. I totally forgot. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Uh, 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 thanks. Holy shoot! He is. He was there. Holy moly! Holy crap! It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida Dog. in some way. Puppy. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. I 
Yeah, it won't stop barking. Because my mother, because my mother, who loves, literally can't live without, is blind them, a teeny blind bars. Because he missed her, which is sad. But that's all he do. researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? No. Well, we need a deal, eh? Well. I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though... It'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass. Never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, Still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. Wakefulness raises the S the S3 cover from mindfulness. All right. Alright. All right. Thou Mahana. Most powerful. Ooh. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? I'm sure of it. That's right. Hey. Yeah? No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. See ya. I'm a monkey monkey. Contacts on fire as usual. It was more fun yet. Let's just call it a hidden gem. 
Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai San's desk. The people know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? I trust her with it. Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We will enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. What are we talking about? Music. Anyway, now we just need you to hand it over as long as we can get it to me, Juma. I'm making it seem all foggy. Madame Sae Nijima, a great Madame. sinner of okay. jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. Oh, For its alarming. sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. No. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense. They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them. Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis! I'm on your side! I won't let anyone do anything to you! <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not. Yes. I, I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. Sorry for wait a way of it. No. Thank you, Uncle John. It's a fun plant. So it's funny coming to this. I actually feel somewhat nervous. I freak out so much that you screw up. Alright. I don't want to talk to you. Ask that you will eat on me. Well then, see you tomorrow. Hold on a sec. So before I go over question, go over the operation before we leave. It is just as discussed earlier, is it not? The battle will decide our future. We must ensure 
or fully prepared beforehand. They will. Our objective is stealing Saeed's family treasure. Well, we will meet at, at the courthouse at 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Good. Can you give us one last word before we, before we go out? Later. Let's go all out. Who are we relying on you? Oh, wonderful. I'm trusting your relationship. I will do my best. Yes. Alright. We can't afford any mistakes. Especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us. So let's give it our all. Okay. I should write something. Are you all prepared? What of the calling card, Makoto? I showed it to Sis. She took it from my very own hands. Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't be so downtrodden. Yeah, if we screw this up, we're done for. It's way more than losing the place we belong. We can even lose our lives here, you know. It'll be all right. I want to save my sister, no matter what. Is everyone decided? <laughs> All's well that ends well. So much has happened since we first started. You guys have become quite the reliable team. All right, Joker. This is the Phantom Thieves' final heist. Give us the signal. It's showtime. Okay, everyone. I know what, what we all want to wear. I'm really talking, everyone.
Oh, you got a charge. A fee is required and accept this persona. Time for the power requires sacrifice. charge maybe like done already what I should write something it's okay It is okay. Time for the power requires sacrifice. Hmm. That will do. Give charge instead of burn. What are you waiting for? It's okay, puppies. It, it is okay. charge.
Charges actually would be a pretty good. Charge is a pretty good skill for I need. No, I don't need counter. Are you finished? What? I mean, charge tripling the attack. in our game. Time for some power requires sacrifice. Do not expect much power. This is what it shall become. Let these powers unite. So yeah, I guess you'll see a lot of this. Take forever trying to get to charge. Am I just getting counter in deathbound? Are you finished? What? Now it's Counter Strike. Done already. What? You wish to perform an execute power 
requires sacrifice. That this is what it is. This may be I'm a bit gruesome. To... This. Things take way too long. Puppies, please be quiet. Finished. Been marking all day. I mean, it's the only safe slot uh, I have. Time for the power requires sacrifice. Wait. Some modification, huh? It seems it will become a skill card. Change your mind. You'd like to read the compendium? These are the paths you have walked. Wait, I forgot about this. Keep the persona. No slacking off. I'm just gonna go keep the persona. This is the power you will gain. 
this may be a bit gruesome. I mean... I got a lot of personas to concentrate. I don't need it, but it's cool. This is cool to concentrate, but... staring at me. What, 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 why are you showing me a dream? I'm going to end the video. See you guys in the next one. Next episode, boss battle time. Baby, let's go. Sorry for it's short, but it's gonna be a long episode next one.